So I picked up this jet saw on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. And it came with a little trash stand. I mean, it was trash. Like, I'm going to take it to the scrapyard. Like, I mean, just wobbly, very short. Uh, not a good stand, blah, blah, blah. Saw works great. The only thing wrong with this is missing the cover, but I got it for 50 bucks. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. I had a bunch of angle laying around. So what I did was built me a little stand, put some wheels on it. Uh, and decided that I wanted a flood system to keep the blade cool when it's cutting big pieces because I bought it specifically to cut forklift tines. Uh, my chop saw, Evolution chop saw, will cut them, but it wreaks havoc on the blade. So I got it specifically to cut that 2 inch by 5 inch thick forklift tine and some uh, hardened steel rod out of um, hydraulic cylinders the push rod got it specifically to cut those and I thought I had it fixed with just a tub sitting under it but that didn't work well it was dripping over here on the side as you can see the little dampness on the concrete so I had a piece of sheet metal laying around so I just bit me up a pan and uh, used some square tubing as the risers and then siliconed around everything punched a hole in the center and then not only did I drilled a hole in the center, I took a conical piece of metal that I use for all kinds of stuff and hammered it down in there so that there's a lip sticking out the bottom so that when it drips out the bottom, it'll drip straight down, straight down into the pan uh, and won't run along the bottom of the, uh, won't run along the bottom of the pan and drip anywhere else. It'll just drip straight down, kind of like a real short funnel lip or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just took and clamped a couple pieces of metal, a couple pieces of uh, C-channel together to use as a makeshift brake and then folded up the corners and everything and just put a sheet metal screw in it for now, probably forever. <laughs> siliconed up the corners, siliconed up the bolts where it's bolted through to the frame and siliconed up around it so the water won't get in there and drip through the bottom of the tray and uh, I just put the silicone on it so I want to let it set for at least a few hours before I try it. It says 30 minutes and it's good, but uh, it's got a 24 hour cure time, so I'm gonna wait. But I built the pan big enough to go all the way around, so if it dripped anywhere, it wouldn't be a problem. And it's got the switch up out of the water, and I just use a uh, surge protector as the on off switch that got the pump plugged into it as well so whenever I turn it on it turns the pump on and the pump starts before the blade does and then I uh, turn the blade on here and like I said it works good the only thing that I didn't take into consideration was uh, sorry for the angle changes is right here when it folds back it touches the pan when it stands up all the way but it doesn't bend it or anything so I'm not too worried about it plus this is the end where I was having the drips most where the water comes through. I put a little piece of pad in here to keep shavings and stuff out of it, and that deflects most of the water. But when it's cutting up at you know a tall angle, it gets some drip back there in the back. So now uh, it don't matter where it drips because it will all go back into the bottom. So hooked up a little flood system. That hose is bigger than I need, it goes around, and there's a little pump in there, like an aquarium pump or whatever. They were way cheaper than the purpose pumps, They're like 15 bucks for the aquarium pump. So if it lasts six, eight months, I've got my money out of it because those other pumps for the actual purpose of pumping coolant fluid in them were like 75 bucks. So I could buy a whole bunch of those before I get to the point of should have bought the original or should have bought those purpose built. But that's the setup, rolls around super easy. It's taller, you know, so I don't have to bend over. You know, this table is about waist height, which is where you want most of your, when you're lifting heavy stuff, you don't want to lift much higher than that anyway. So, yep, that's the setup. Felt like I got a pretty good deal for 50 bucks. Uh, works great, cut square. The only other thing that I might do in the future is, I've seen a few guys add the hydraulic down feed. 
Um, I put this on the most tension that it has and it seems to do good cutting those. Uh, I also cut a piece of railroad track with it earlier and it did really well.